Pilgrim State Hospital, now known as Pilgrim Psychiatric Center, it was at one time the largest mental hospital in the world, housing more than 13,000 patients. This hospital started its life as a farm colony, built to alleviate the overcrowding of other Long Island mental hospitals. Like those other facilities, it was quickly overwhelmed by the number of patients. Pilgrim State Hospital reached its peak in the 1950s, when electroshock therapy and lobotomy were common treatments and caused irreversible damage to countless patients. Usually three successive convulsions are necessary, but in a sturdy young person, four or even six convulsions may be administered without danger. One report claims that almost 2,000 people were lobotomized here during the 1940s and 50s. He drives a point through the orbital plate, and at a depth of five centimeters, swings the handle far laterally. By the 1960s, advances in pharmaceutical treatments began to find favor over lobotomy, electroshock, and insulin shock therapies. These medications, combined with new perspectives in mental health treatment, caused a decline in the number of patients at mental hospitals. Over the years, many buildings were abandoned and fell into disrepair, and much of the land was sold. This building that I was urban exploring was the old medical surgical building. It was demolished in 2012. I can't help but wonder how many people suffered archaic and inhumane medical practices in the rooms I explored. If you want to see more things like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support what I'm doing, head over to my website where you can purchase my newest documentary. 